8 a.m. This system will start making its way here for Saturday night, and that could be a problem at the big house. Big game there is Notre Dame taking on Michigan. It's a 730 kick, and it does look like much of that game could be influenced by the rain. The good news, we don't see any thunderstorm activity, so there should be no lightning strikes. I guess the bad news is they may have to play through that, uh, which is not going to be fun sledding uh, for those folks there. Up at Spartan Stadium in East Lansing, it's an earlier kick, and that should be dry as that rain is going to uh, still be to the south by the time that kicks off at 3.30. So let's fast forward to Halloween. We've got two of our longer range models that are telling two different stories. One of these two is lying. Which one is it? This is the <laughs> it's a European model. Uh, that low, it's got it right on the top of Detroit, or at least north of the city. And that means plenty of rain, plenty of wind, and possibly some snow mixing in. But the American GFS model says, uh-uh, no, sir. We're dry. We're not even as windy. So it is two very different stories. And we'll see if those come in line as we get closer to the th uh, 31st next Thursday 48 tonight for the overnight low high temperatures tomorrow 58 degrees with some sunshine developing but it's still going to be a lot of clouds tomorrow at least the winds are going to be a lot lighter than what we dealt with today here are your high temperatures in the four zone forecast and it's going to be upper 50s in the metro zone but outside of there a lot of mid 40s or mid 50s I should say uh, once you get to north of Michigan Avenue close to 60 here down towards the state line west zone highs tomorrow out in Ann Arbor you're looking at 57 Flint you're going to be at 54 and at least we're going to stay in the 50s here in the north zone, but not by much. 53 up in Sandusky and Marlette tomorrow afternoon. There's seven day forecast and that rain sandwiched in between uh, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday night going through Sunday lunch and then we'll be dry for the second half of the day. So if you're heading out to Ford Field, uh, getting there early may be a wet commute, but going home should be no problem.